Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's OMSI 2 news. Today we have two major things that have happened. We have the release of the Studio Polygon Renown and also a new Oxy expansion which basically is a tool that helps you experience OMSI 2 in a better manner. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So on the 18th of September, which was yesterday when this video was released, the Studio Renown, uh, Studio Polygon Renown was released. Now, as you may know, unlike previously, the Studio Polygon Renown is the, probably one of the first add-ons for ARM C2 not to be on Steam. And quite uh, frankly, the reason for this is so they can make more money. But not only that, not only have they removed it from Steam, meaning that they make 30% extra, they've also decided to increase the price because, well... Let's face it, before they were charging £15 and making about £5 of that because 30% was going to Steam, 20% was going to Aerosoft. Now, none of that's going to Steam and none of that's going to Aerosoft, so you think £15 would be enough. But no, they've decided to increase the price further to £18. And not only that, you can only buy the Renown in pounds, which means that if you are paying in other currencies, you have to bear the exchange rate fee, which is not the case on Steam, which has exchange rates for you. Nonetheless, um, the Studio Polygon Unknown was quite a big success, as you can see here at the moment. We are trying to enter their website, but it is forbidden. Oddly enough, when they insist on not putting this on Steam and using their own website, their website is not even ready for the demand that is there. And I know this is being rather cynical and negative, but however, I feel the fact that basically they're forcing us to use their own website, which is doesn't really have any sort of official capacity in the sense that it is just a website made by... I don't want to say two randos, but basically just made, it's a custom-made website. It's not really an e-commerce store of, a, of such. There is a more risk borne onto the consumer. And, well, it doesn't even work, as you can see here. So I can't actually show you um, uh, their website at the moment. Let's see if doing F5 will help, but I doubt it. So, yeah, this is just to demonstrate the launch of their unknown. Not only that, there was issues with the installer. Okay, now it works, however, screenshots are not loading. As you can see here, the unknown features 20 single door variants, two, two, two dual door variants, basically set fires that allow you to have the bus in 100 different configurations. Okay, there are signs, all that. Now, the bus, to be fair, itself does look detailed. However, Often the marketing does play a big role in how this is perceived. Ticket machines, all the usual. And unfortunately, this is the future of the Studio Polygon, where everything will now be on their website, all in pounds. So, uh, here is the Renown. Here you can see some pictures. It does look quite detailed, so we'll give it that. Uh, you can see here, basically, you can use Shopify, PayPal, Google Pay, or Apple Pay, or a credit card. The a few other things to note about the Studio Polygon Renown is that it uses an installer. You have three in uh, you have three activations. After that, you have to contact Studio Polygon for more activations. So yes, again, if you think this not being on Steam seems a bit you know not necessarily sketchy, but you are here paying eighteen pounds and you can only use this three pounds and then you have to contact some developers. Again, it's just on Steam. Steam is some sort of official thing. You have a way to get your money back. It's you know I know obviously for developers it is costly, but at the same time, I find that argument more convincing if the price wasn't increased when Studio Polygon is already making a lot more money. Than it would have been beforehand so that's why i'm not really convinced that that's the entire motive and again i've also seen the kind of not necessarily i see that the way they've spinned their selling tactics to say that oh yes this new launcher will basically allow for quicker releases all that folks i want to say that's a facade now maybe you or some might disagree and might say it improves player perform in uh, experience all that i'm going to tell you that is a facade what do I mean by that? That is just a front, and it is something that they tell you, but actually it has very little value. The real and main objective is monetary reasons. Yes, you can spin this as saying, oh yeah, it can give you updates much quicker, you don't have to contact with Steam, ETC, but we have seen the result of that, that when this stuff is released, that their launcher is unable to, to cope with the is unable to cope with the demand, that there are issues with their launcher. Let's go take a look at their Facebook, in case you guys don't believe me, because again, the key is in the evidence. So if you go to OMC2 Renown Facebook, we'll go here and let's take a look at the release here. So you'll see here this blah, 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 allow on the essential cookies. So we'll go here, we'll take a look. As you can see, these are some of the issues that are happening or when people are trying to get this. So they paid £18 and it wasn't working. 
Now people were saying, oh yeah, people should have patience, but the fact here is that they did insist on putting this on their own website, and they did say maintain it would be a better experience, and well, realistically, it isn't, and you understand that Steam does charge developers quite a big money, uh, large sum, and it's usually unavoidable, unavoidable, but again, they have, the way they've done this, they have increased the price, because they make a lot more money, it's a bit of a bitter taste in the market, there's also deactivation limits, and also, you're kind of using a website that, I don't know, but that's just my take on it. And yeah, there you go. You can see some of the issues. Now, of course, to be fair to Studio Polygon, they are trying to rectify this. Let's give them some benefit of the doubt. But then again, just that highlights that. So basically, that is it. It is exclusively available on the Studio Polygon website, meaning that is the only place that you can get it. So if you're not comfortable with the Studio Polygon website, then that's it. This uses some sort of installer, and yeah, so that is that. Hopefully, other developers don't go along this route, and we will, yeah, that's really that. So, that's the Studio Polygon Renown for £18 in euros, that's 20 euros, making it more expensive than a bus and map DLC for OMC 2. So, yeah, anyway. That's that. Um, now, I know this is rather negative, but I know a lot of the other videos have been very positive um, because, of course, when people receive free keys, they tend to have to pander a bit to the developers, especially when the only place you can get this is through the developers themselves. So uh, I do acknowledge that there are videos out there that are more positive. So I think this is a good counterbalance. But again, the bus itself does look good. I uh, Myself, I'm not very... I don't know. I was thinking of getting this, but seeing the issues that there are... <laughs> I don't know. I am realistically, OMC2 is not something that I'm that invested in. So, and there's other videos out there. So, look, it, I might have to give this a pass. Personally, on there, we'll see how it goes. Uh, if this was on Steam, I would get it. But the fact that this is on some website, again, I'm not that comfortable having to pay £18 for something where it's completely outsourced to some website where there isn't really any sort of consumer protection system in place per se. Uh, also, the fact that there's limits and it's reliant on some sort of installer and that basically this is always connected to some sort of server which again impacts the PC performance and it just again just makes life more complicated you know this is the thing about Steam at least there's integrated within one network so yeah that sort of thing I myself I'm not a big fan of this and therefore I will refrain from supporting this sort of model so yes that's that so that's the Studio Polygon Renown yeah, there's only more to say. I'm not going to repeat the same thing over again. Uh, I, I Hopefully, you guys can show your own reflections. Next up is a new tool that has been released for OMC2, and this is the OMC2 Oxy expansion. Basically, this is a tool that kind of adds in a lot more features to OMC2. Basically, it's a scripting tool, so... And with OMC2, everything's scripted with Notepad, and that just makes things a very big nuisance. I mean, sorry, the grammar there was incorrect, but basically, it makes life a nuisance if you want to adjust stuff, if you want to adjust the point of view, all that. You have to go into Notepad and do some scripting stuff. With this, what this does is that it allows you to change the stuff within OMC2. So basically, it's just some sort of engine code, uh, some sort of code that basically does the scripting in the background, so you can adjust the seats. Now, this is all in German, so seats position, you can make it higher or lower. You can put it forward or backwards. Here, neue Omsi Funktionen, uh, Funktionen, Funktionen, uh, Funktionen, basically new Omsi 2 functions. Uh, as you can see here, let's just take a look here. Uh, what you can do is road factors. So you can adjust basically the AI traffic and the passenger traffic. So again, this is going into this. Basically, this allows you to basically make the map busier or less busy without having to restart OMC2. So th there are some useful features, whether it's worth 15 euro, uh, I don't really want to go on and go on another rant here. You also have here the, uh, you can adjust the steering rotation of your wheels, to, uh, of your driver's seat. So basically, this is that your driver head moves when you're turning, especially with your wheel. This is kind of something that's implemented in the bus by TML Studio. So this allows you to use this in OMC2 as well. And then, let's take a look at some of the other stuff. Yeah, you can adjust the weather, as you can see here. They also have a new thing where basically you have announcements on every map, even if the announcements don't exist for that map, it just uses the text by speech. So bear in mind that it will be very computerly not great experience, but it's there. And then uh, I think this, so I don't even know what this is. I think this is, you can adjust, well, I don't know. Also, there's something to do with dynamic well. I think this, I'm not sure if you can adjust the AI bus list as well. Basically, this is that. So you see here, 
Uh, just a quick stuff, synchronization of Amstu game, compatible with bus companies, simulator, I guess this is a big thing that's aimed for, advanced weather systems, all that, I kind of went on about that, let's just take a quick look at the reviews, so this is 15 euro, and as you can see here, uh, so this one's negative, positive, yeah, so, well, this one, again, is for super free, so we always have to take these with a pinch of salt, I know I've also done a uh, Reviews received for free, but I've tended to highlight that and also try to mention to you folks that you can determine for yourselves whether you think it's biased or not. But yeah, um, it does seem to think it's mostly positive. Again, there's not that many reviews, the sample size is quite small, it's only 10. But yeah, this is just another tool. Again, it's also some features if you're a map maker, uh, makes life slightly easier. Uh, whether it's worth 15 euro, I don't know. Personally, I won't be getting this myself. Uh, I didn't actually realize this was out on a discussion about this, but yeah, this has been released on the 14th of September. Folks, that's this week's OMSI 2 news. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the Studio Polygon Unknown and the new Ox uh, tool. I know this was more like an OMSI 2 news slash OMSI 2 rant, but look, that's the way it is. Folks, thanks for watching. And yes, the next OMSI 2 news will be whenever there is news for OMSI 2. There was some stuff on the web disk, but basically... <sighs> Just the quality of the stuff being released on the OMS2 um, web disk at the moment is just not even worth mentioning, and it's just a lot of re-uploads. So there's some Chinese map that's been re-uploaded, and it it doesn't it's like has the default OMS2 objects. So you know, and it's using the Yaman NG272. There's also some mod for some. This is on the buses, and even though it's not a new bus, it was something to do with the Renault Agora, and there's some AI train. Look, you can take a look at that if you want yourselves. That's it for now. Until next time.